right, welcome to tapping video number 350 million on the internet. Yeah, I'm going to add one. My, mine's different for three reasons. First of all, it's me. Yeah. Secondly, I'm not going to show off like those other tools. Thirdly, it's for beginners only because I love beginners. I don't like advanced players. So, okay, check this out. Look, the, the, the notes matter. You can't just do this anywhere, but I'm in the key of A minor because I'm always in the key of A minor, apparently. Uh, okay, I'm going to get right to it. Look, just going to do this off string one. I don't know how well you can see these hands, but uh, go the index finger to fret five, string one. Oh, and then... Look, you're going to have your pinky is going to be like basically kind of hanging out over fret 8, string 1. Now check this out. Here's your pick, right? <clears throat> right? This is normally how you hold your pick. Uh, you're going to keep holding your pick like that. You're going to tap with your middle finger, right? Because you might need to use the pick again. So <laughs> check it out. We're going to basically tap fret 12. And there's actually kind of two patterns here. This is like really basic kind of uh, tapping kind of patterns, but they're still a really cool sign. They get used all the time. So, um, I mean, it's not like, you know, like you can't use them. You can use, they get used all, all the time. Uh, but one of the patterns is basically we're gonna tap fret 12 and it's gonna, you know, you're gonna basically release to your index finger fret five. Then you hammer pinky onto fret 8, string 1, right? So tap 12, release to fret 5, hammer pinky fret 8. And then you can do that a whole bunch of times in a row, like a tool. But <laughs> I mean, that's, that's those, those three notes, 12, 5, 8, 12, 5, 8, all over and over and over and over, okay? The other pattern is basically you would basically line up your fingers at the same frets, fret 5, index, fret 8, uh, pinky, and then, but it's then kind of reverse. So you still tap 12, but you would release to the pinky 8, then you would pull off to the index, fret 5. And obviously you combine those two. Actually, that second one's a lot harder for most people because it's just, I don't know, it's more of a coordination deal. Okay, look, I'm gonna give you another thing you can do. Okay, it's the same notes, 12, 5, 8, right? Let's see, I think we're gonna do that second pattern. Tap 12, uh, basically release to eight, pull off to five, okay? Then you're going to Hopefully there's remaining energy in the string. You're going to slide your index down to fret three, string one, okay? And then you're going to tap fret 10 and then hammer with your ring fret five. Wow, that's a lot to remember. Hopefully I remember it, let's see. <laughs> uh, I did, okay. Let's do that again real slow. <laughs> So remember what it is, 12, 8, 5, slide to 3, hammer 5, yeah? Yeah, let's do it again. Okay, look, there's a lot more tapping out there. You know, if you want to know more, go watch one of those other tools videos, I don't know. This is like pretty much like foundational stuff. It's gonna get you almost everything you need, <laughs> really. Uh, look, there's a lot more to talk about, you know. And like I said, you know, you wanna tap with your middle and because you wanna keep the uh, pick. Because in my opinion, you should keep coming back to, I mean, you should never like, there shouldn't be like, like whole solos made up out of tapping. I hate that stuff. Uh, but, you know, people do it. Um, make a living doing it, I guess. But look, I like, you know, develop melodies really in the solos. And that's what you're picking mostly. And then do a little bit of tapping. Anyway, I'm not getting into the philosophy. My philosophy is here. Uh, I'll just leave it at that. Rock.